Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel here. There are many people today, for one reason or another, they feel like they're at a standstill in which they feel like they can't move forward because there's something that happened in the past that drags them, that weighs them down, and they can't come to receive the grace and the love of God that God has for them. And what I want to do in this video is that not only do I want to pray with you at the end of this video, I want to make you realize that there's absolutely no reason why you cannot move forward. There's no reason why you cannot receive the grace, the love of God that has for you. It doesn't matter what you went through. It doesn't matter what you have done. Okay, because if there's any person who really messed up, okay, in the faith, in the Bible, one of these persons, okay, are the, it's the Apostle Paul. Okay, you know, Paul, before his name was Paul, his name was called Saul. Okay, we know this in the book of Acts. He was persecuting Christians, throwing them to jails, having them beaten, killed, and all these things. Okay, and yet God later used them to roll pretty much almost two-thirds of the New Testament. And the key to know how to move forward is to read what Paul says with his history in Philippians chapter 3 in verse 13. Paul says, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. You see, Paul didn't stand there and just had a pity party of, about himself. Oh, you know, I'm so wretched. You know, I just persecuted all the Christians and, you know, God is going to send judgment. God's going to, you know, give me a sickness and all this. No, no, he didn't do that. He says, I forget what is behind. And even the thing that people talk about Paul's thorn is not even a physical sickness. Okay, go watch in my, my, another one of my videos. God was working with Paul and he had grace he, he, on Paul because he loved him. And just as God has, and Jesus has, has, has uh, compassion and love and grace for Paul who messed up, he has the same grace and love for you today. Now I tell people that the end time is near and Jesus is coming back soon. But that doesn't mean that there's no time. The reason why God sends uh, you know, signs after signs, okay, earthquakes increasing, uh, signs of the times, prophets, you know, biblical prophecies and all these things. The reason he sends signs like this is because he wants us to realize the imminence of his coming. And just because he knows that he's going to come soon, he wants as much people to come to him as possible. And many people are going to reject him. Many people are going to mock. Many people are going to laugh. Many people are not going to pay attention. But I want to pray for you. I want to just tell you right now, wherever you're at right now, it doesn't matter if you know you've been practicing sin, you've been living not right, it doesn't matter. God loves you so much. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross and He wants you to live a new life in a new direction. Don't ever let the devil come to you and give you all these guilt trips. Oh, you know, I've done this. Oh, I've done that. But the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, okay, if anyone is, a new, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away and all things have become new. This is your good news. If you have truly come before God and asked Him for His mercy and you repent, you change your mind, which leads to change of action, the Holy Spirit is going to change your whole life into a new direction, but you can follow Him. Don't follow after the things of the world anymore. Follow after Jesus. Follow after the Holy Spirit. When you do that, that's how you start to come to experience the love and the grace of Jesus Christ. It's such good news that sometimes I just don't understand how come people don't realize this. How come they're not jumping on this? This is the greatest news, greatest thing ever happened in the entire world. But people are not willing to come to Him. They're willing to give Him lip service. They're willing to go to church and clap every Sunday, raise up their hands and do stuff like that. And, you know, maybe even cry a little bit. But they're not willing to live a dedicated life for Jesus. They're not willing to live a life of holiness, absolute obedience. They're not, they're not willing to pay the cost. And they're going to say, oh, well, you know, everybody goes to like that. Look, you know, everybody in my church, everybody around me is doing the same thing. You know, so I guess I'm good. I got news for you. The only person that you can compare yourself with is Jesus. Which is what the Bible says about the standards that we are to meet. And what I'm trying to tell you is, if you will submit your life to Jesus 100%, you're like, God, not my will anymore. I'm, you know, I'm I, I don't want this life that I live in the past. Take my life, all of me. 
Okay, even a hymn says, "Take my life, all of me, consecrate it all for Thee." If that is your heart, 100% true heart to God, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, because that's a promise of the Bible. He will change you. He will give you a new life. And if you continue in the faith, you will see Jesus in heaven. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Okay, and you need to forgive those uh, people who have hurt you, and you move forward. You reconcile people. You live a new life in Christ. Okay, don't worry about what people say about you. Because you are no longer tied to things of this world. You're no longer tied to your past. Though you see, some people are going to try to come back to you. Okay? And, you know, whether they're joking or, you know, they, whatever intention they have, they're going to try to remind you of your past. But just the way Paul says, I, I look forward towards the goal and I, and I forget what is behind. You do the same thing. When people tell things about what you've done in the past, you shrug it off. You, you know, shrug it Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know. Be kind, be respectful, that's it. But don't, you don't have to, you can acknowledge, okay, you don't have to deny what happened in the past. Paul knew what he did in the past, but he doesn't allow the past to dictate who he is today. That's what you and I need to realize. Yeah, we may have a past. You, you may feel like you can never be forgiven, but you need to realize. God, the Bible tells us in Psalm 103, in verse uh, 12, as far as the east is from the west, okay, God has removed his transgression from us. As far as the east is from the west, he's removed it completely through the blood of Jesus Christ if we will repent and turn to him and his, and, and his blood will wash us clean. That is when we can sing, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. That is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He can turn our life completely, 100%, back to Him into a life of righteousness and holiness. And if there's any time that we need to do this, this is the time, the end times that we're in right now, that we need to turn our lives 100% back to Him, surrender our heart back to Him. So I just want to pray right now for you. Especially those of you who have been told, okay, either by people or by the devil or the voices, whatever, yourself can't forgive yourself, whatever it is, right now in the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. every thought, every attack, every lie that was sent to you either from the devil or by other people, I break that by the power and by the blood of Jesus Christ and I, and I just set you free. Okay, and now you're going to have to turn. You're going to have to make this decision yourself. God has grace for you. He sets you free, but you need to turn to Him. When you make a decision to make Jesus your Lord, okay, not just going to church, make Him your Lord, 100% all of Him, you dedicate yourself to Him, I guarantee you your life will not be the same and you will, none of that stuff in the past will matter anymore. So right now, I just bless you in the name of Jesus that by the power of the Holy Spirit that you'll live this life anew, in Christ, alive, resurrected, in him that your old self is cast away it's died up you put off the old man all things have become new that is who you are that is what jesus says about you your new creation if you're truly in him in faith so i bless you in knowing that you are not in defeat you are not being hated by god god loves you and he wants you to go into his kingdom and as long as you renew your mind and understand that this is the will of God and you submit your life to Him, from now on, your life will be completely different.